Hey guys! Welcome back to another exciting, fun-filled episode of Cross Street Classics. Back here at our Lincoln Mark III build. Um, today we're going to do quarter windows. These quarter windows, unlike most cars of the 60s and 70s, they slide back into the uh, sail panel here instead of going up and down. Pretty unique. These and the Thunderbirds had them. I'm not sure how how many other cars had them, but uh, so what we're going to do, we're going to show you how to take uh, the assembly apart and reinstall it in the car. Uh, it kind of comes out as a cartridge out of the car with uh, well, a dozen fasteners or so. So we're going to show you what the passenger side cartridge looks like and how to uh, disassemble it, clean it up, lube it up, test it, and put it back in. So. Let's get going. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do, there's about a dozen screws around. Quarter inch head screws. We're gonna take these out. And then there's two on the front. And I have a little cup to put my screws in, but I don't know where it went. All right, so a paint cap makes a perfect screw holder. Then there's uh, two screws on the front edge. Now the one thing I wanna do, I wanna make sure that we have the window back out. It makes it easier to get it apart because the little channel that the window rides on the top, it gets the window out of that channel. Okay, that's done. So after we get all that apart, we just lift this off and the whole thing comes apart just like that so we're gonna get this piece out of the way and work on the business part of our window frame and you can see in here uh, there's the motor and the track doesn't look too bad and the window assembly here So there's just two 7 16 nuts that hold this on. And these little access holes here. And we take them off. Lift this up a little bit. Just the camera up, sorry about that. Lift this off and the window is free from the assembly. So to remove the motor, we're going to take these few screws off here. I'm using my little impact because these screws are kind of in there pretty tight. Push the grommet through. The harness. And then this here, this is the little tube that uh, the chain the chain, I guess you could call it, travels through. I'm gonna release the uh, wire from this clip, pull the harness out, and come. 
this this has to come up too. So one of the adjusting the adjusting bolts. Take that out. Okay. Now your motor assembly is free from the the case here. So we're gonna give these to Blake. He's gonna clean these up real quick, give a fresh coat of black paint. We're not getting crazy with it. You'll never see it. So here's our rear motor assembly. But uh, we'll take the motor off. It comes off fairly easy. Three screws. Put it on our impact because it's pretty tight. Okay. So in the motor, it comes right off. Now you can see the grease. It's not bad. This is. Not horrible, but we're going to clean this up and put some fresh grease in there. And you can see the teeth. There's no broken teeth in this one. I think we'll be okay with this. So let's wipe that old grease off. We got our window all polished up and back on the assembly here. So we're gonna put everything back together. Set this back in place. Don't forget to put the wire back in this clip. Keeps them getting tangled up. Okay, so we have them all tightened down. Okay, you can see here the factory had a little bit of sealant around this. So I'm gonna put a little bit of a little bit of butyl around here. I put the other side together, I put way too much on. So we're gonna put just a little bit. I had it squirting all over the place. 
This stuff's messy anyway. So I'm going to put just a small bead on here. That should be good. So get it on. Our screws come up from the other side. So we'll put a couple in to hold it in place and flip it back over. All right guys, so we have our window assembly all assembled. And uh, Blake is patiently waiting over here in the car to assist in the assembly installation. Now the one thing I want to mention that uh, I probably, I don't think I did yet, uh, with the vinyl roofs, there's that the uh, Lincoln emblem that mounts to the side here. You can see these holes. So what you want to do is if you if you're putting a vinyl roof on, you want to poke through here. Just so just take an ice pick or something, poke through, get your holes marked. Because once this window is in, it's probably going to be near impossible to find the holes unless they're marked. So a little tip for you. All right, guys. So we have our window frame is started assembly started here uh, now you can see there's one screw in here one screw down here that you access through these holes right here and right here it's kind of tricky because this window felt it's kind of it's almost in the way but it's not uh, and then there's another screw down here but this will go in with the other when this other trim this piece here goes on and then, so the only thing holding in right now is this screw, this screw, and we have this snugged up in the back. So we're going to put this on here next. And you can see, I put a little bit of butyl strip caulking on this. Um, this piece that goes in here initially had a gasket, a pre-formed, pre pre-cut gasket. It's long on. Um, even our, none of our parts cores had anything salvageable. So we're resorting to the strip caulk again. You know, I mean, there's some water's going to get in, but we want to stop most of it. And you know, it goes down into the quarter panel, so it'll drain out. That's kind of how it was designed to do. So we want to stick this up in here and tuck this in. All right, so we got our piece of weather stripping on here. And Blake is going to run the window back and forth to make sure we have no obstructions anywhere. <clears throat> all right guys so we got our window in we got everything adjusted pretty well uh, you have a bolt in here a bolt here and that adjusts your your tilt front and back and up and down and there's a stop right here that keeps the window uh, from going too far into the door so um, we messed around with it and there's also a in and out adjustment too on this on these bolts, these bolts here, uh, they're a stud with a washer and, a, and, a, and an Allen head screw, and you screw them in and out, and it gives you, you can tilt the window in and out like this. So, just a little bit of adjustment, just, you know, try trial and error, and we got it pretty good. We close our door. Everything closed real nice. We have a nice gap inside, same plane of the, of the glass. So that's about it for this. Um, the only thing else we gotta do is put this 
other piece of the shell on here. Got a fish's wire through. This hole. Okay, so that's done. And then this goes on. And it gets screwed around here. And then we can do some more adjusting with these. Um, if we need to get anything else closer but uh, we're all pretty good here so far so we'll get this shell on and then uh, adjust these up and that'll be done Blake has this last piece on here now there's a couple screws on the top three down the front and a couple one along in here and then the big washer nuts go on and that helps you adjust any more in and out that we need so uh, we're gonna get this on and Try everything out. All right, so Blake got everything in. Everything's adjusted. So let's run this window back and forth a few times and make sure everything's good. These are really cool, really unique window. Here's a reverses leads. Yeah, cool. And when they close the door. Thing lines up pretty nice. That weather stripping is kind of funky, but go ahead. All right, guys. So that is going to conclude this video of uh, quarter window installation and uh, rehab. So uh, hope you enjoyed watching this. Hope you learned something from it. As always, don't forget to ask any questions if you would. And don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Thanks.